Welcome to Vlogmas day four. Today's video is actually going to be an update to a video that I filmed back in February where I ranked every single Sol de Janeiro fragrance from worst to best or from my least favorite to my favorite and they've come out with quite a few new fragrances since I filmed that video. They also just announced their new fragrance that is launching January 2024. I cannot wait to smell it. It sounds amazing. It's purple. It's beautiful. They are coming out with a spray as well as a body butter and I need it. So very exciting news there. Um, I have 13 fragrances sitting in front of me. I believe this is every scent that they have officially come out with over the last few years. We have some newer ones. We have some older limited edition discontinued ones, but I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts and um, we will just kind of take it from there. I wanted to start off by saying I love anything vanilla. Vanilla is my favorite fragrance ever so if there's vanilla in it I'm probably gonna love it. I also love citrusy scents, fruity scents, anything sugary and sweet. Um, clean fragrances are okay. Floral fragrances are not my favorite. I'm also not a big fan of uh, Fragrances that smell like food, like gourmand type fragrances. I don't know if I'm saying that word correctly, but that's my best attempt. Um, so you'll kind of see that reflected here. We have 13 fragrances. I think I already said that. I will have them all listed and linked down below. And I have a discount code. I think I have a 10% off discount code with them. That is an affiliate code, so I do make a small commission if you decide to use it. I appreciate you so much if you do, but if you don't, no pressure whatsoever. Um, so yeah, they also sell these products at Sephora, but my code works on their website. So yes, everything will be linked down below. Now, starting things off with my first or my least favorite fragrance. I love all of these. I have them all for a reason. Again, I don't know if I said that already. I've had to refilm a few parts of this video already and it gets kind of confusing. Um, my least favorite fragrance is Chirosa 71. My order has changed so much from the last time that I filmed this video. Um, so you'll kind of see that if you saw the previous one. Um, this is the Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia scent. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the macadamia, the caramel, I don't know, but I just, this is not my go-to. It smells good. It's a little strong. It's very pungent <laughs> in, in a good way, but um, it's just, it, you can't really, I don't think you can really layer this with much. It's very distinct. Um, it smells sweet and good, but I don't find myself reaching for this. There's so many other ones that are so much better than this one. So um, unfortunately, Chirosa 71 is gonna take last place. Then we have Chirosa 39, and this is Coco Cabana. They actually discontinued this fragrance, and this was the second fragrance that they came out with. Um, I remember a lot of people were not a fan of the way that it smelled, um, and they actually ended up reformulating this. So there was like a, a before, a version one of this fragrance and a version two. This is definitely the second version. Um, this is coconut cream and toasted praline. Again, it has that like toasted nutty scent. Definitely has a time and place for it, but it's not my go-to daily fragrance. Um, it does smell really nice and it is very nostalgic to me because I remember when Sol de Janeiro only had their original fragrance and then this one came out and it was a huge deal and it was so exciting. Um, it kind of smells like buttered popcorn. I know a lot of people thought that back in the day that was like a talking point of this fragrance so if you like those types of scents maybe you will love this but for me that's gonna go in 12th place next up we have tan lines this was a limited edition fragrance from last year i believe this one is solar tuberose and uh, something that I do not know how to pronounce. Um, this one is more on the floral side, which is why it's lower on my list. I love the packaging. I love the hot pink. It's so pretty. It does still smell really nice, but when I think of tan lines, I think of like sunscreen, like something that smells like, like Australian gold or like banana boat or something like that. Like that's what I wish that this smelled like, but it does not smell like that. Um, it, it definitely pulls very floral in my opinion. Again, not a bad floral. I definitely still would wear this and do wear this on occasion. It's just not something that I, you know, reach for 
anywhere near daily, but it is a nice summery fragrance. And this actually is limited edition, but it is the same fragrance as one of their other scents. Well, it's, it's not a, it's not a, another scent. It's the same scent, but it's packaged differently. Rio Radiance. The notes on this, oh, I already said the solar tuberose. Um, so if you missed out on this and you think it sounds good, Rio Radiance, it is, I screenshotted it. It's this like bright yellowy. Oh, you can't even see that. <laughs> it's a bright yellow kind of color. Um, so yeah, there's that option for you. Not my favorite, but it is nice that they have it in a repackaged version if that's your vibe. I actually don't have Rio Radiance. That's the only bottle that I do not have, but I already have the scent and I don't love it enough <laughs> to purchase the other packaging of the same fragrance. Next, we have Anita, the Anita collaboration, Sol de Janeiro x Anita. This has notes of passion fruit nectar and pink patchouli. This one is on the sweeter side. I'm gonna spray so many scents I already have. Definitely on the sweeter side, has that fruitiness to it. It smells really, really nice. I feel like you get the patchouli a little bit more at the end, but it's not overpowering whatsoever. Um, it's a really nice fragrance. I feel like it's more of a spring summer fragrance, if you will. I, you can wear this any time of the year you want, but that's kind of the feeling that I get when I smell it. Um, maybe it's the fruitiness of it, but I really like this a lot. And the fact that this is my fourth least favorite and we still have so many to go tells you that this is skewed very high on my fragrance preferences if that makes sense next up we have the other two limited edition ones from last summer that are no longer available we have tropical nights this one is creamy tonka bean and vanilla absolute now the description sounds like i would love this and this would be like a top three for me but i feel like this actually doesn't smell very strong um it it smells nice it's very light but i don't know it's it's sweet it, it's just it's very minimal and i feel like a lot of their other fragrances are very strong and like they are the moment this one i feel like is definitely more of a complimentary fragrance like i would mix this with something else um so yeah that's the reason that i have it a little bit lower on my list because i wish it smelled stronger and more like vanilla but it's still a really really nice one and then the next one we have is sea and soul and this one is juicy citrus and ocean musk which is such a good combo i feel like citrus and like oceany <laughs> sea salt type fragrances are just such a good combo i love citrus on its own but those more like fresh ocean <laughs> whatever an ocean fragrance is i feel like i don't really lean towards those this one definitely is heavier on the musk i feel like this is more of a unisex scent um it definitely kind of gives me a little bit more of that cologne vibe but it also has that little bit of like fruity sweetness from the citrus which i think is just the perfect combo again not something that i go for every day but it is so good and also it's unique within the sol de janeiro line they do have a lot of those like nuttier kind of fragrances like pistachio praline what was the other one macadamia so this is the only like super fresh and clean one that they have in my opinion now we're getting into some limited edition ones from this year we have do not disturb this one has notes of mimosa flower and nude musk this one is a lighter blue packaging than C and Soul, but they are pretty similar looking. Um, but this one, again, smells really good. It has more of that like musky kind of cologne type scent, um, but I feel like it's heavier on the cologne. It doesn't smell like fresh and clean like the uh, C and Soul one does. This one is just more like straight up musk, and this one has musk within but it's not like the main thing that you smell i feel like but these are both really really nice they are the most similar in my opinion but again these are pretty unique within the rest of their scents next we have bikini season i love this fragrance i 
feel like their summer fragrances this year were so good. I wish they were permanent. It makes me so sad that they're a limited edition. Hopefully they come back with them someday. Um, but this one has Sunlit Orchid and Guava Nectar. This one is so good. You can tell I have used <laughs> quite a bit of this one already. Um, this one smells so good, it reminds me of summer. I feel like this is such a good summer fragrance. I feel like I'm at the beach when I smell this. I just think it is incredible. It's not overly fruity, it's not overly floral. It just, this one kind of gives me more of that sunscreen vibe, which is in the best way possible. I love this and I love the packaging, I love the color. This one is so good. All right, now we're in our top five and literally all of these are so freaking incredible. I recommend any of these. They are so good. Okay, so number five, we have When in Rio. This one, again, you can tell um, I have used quite a bit of this and I have started to try to use it more sparingly because this one, again, was limited edition and discontinued. This one has notes of wild bergamot and vanilla amber. This one, there's something about it. Oh, it's so good. I just wanna spray this all over myself. Um, I love it. I don't have anything else to say about it other than it's great and I'm sorry if you did not get the chance to experience it because it is so good. For number four, I decided to put the OG Chirosa 62. This one, I do not think you can go wrong with this fragrance. It smells so good. They have so many products in their original fragrance and I love every single one of them. There's truly not a Sil de Janeiro product that I dislike. Um, I use their Boom Boom Cream. I use their body oil in this fragrance. Their shampoo and conditioner is great. Their body scrub, their hair oil, their dry shampoo, um, their body wash. I love it all. Like, I, I truly love it all. They have a hair oil as well. Um, you cannot go wrong. Christmas present of the year, in my opinion. It has been for the last, like, several years. It is so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. They have a ton of really good gift sets this year as well. So, if, again, if you're looking for Christmas presents, check out Sol de Janeiro because they just, they, they, they know a good fragrance. And the notes on this are pistachio and salted caramel. That does not sound like something that I would like <laughs> based on the previous ones and just my experience, but there's something about this that I, I could identify this anywhere. It's so unique, it's so iconic, and it's so good, so. Chirosa 62 for the win. For number three, we have Chirosa 68. This one is Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. Supposedly, this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. It also smells just like Cloud by Ariana Grande, which again is supposedly a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. I do not have Baccarat Rouge. That is way too bougie for me, but I love this scent. I love their lotion in this scent. It's so good. I used that while I was pregnant. I used the original Boom Boom Cream while I was pregnant. I pretty much alternated between the two. This and Chirosa 62 were like my go-tos during my entire pregnancy. I love them so, so much. Um, this one is so good. I don't know how to describe it. It's a very unique scent, but if you have smelled Cloud or Baccarat Rouge, you know exactly what this smells like. So very light and airy, but also has a little bit of like a muskiness to it. It's just, it's so good. And it's pink, which is honestly just an added bonus. For number two, we have Chirosa 40. This one is Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. This one is so good. This is their Bomb Dia Bright fragrance. I have their body wash as well as their moisturizer, their like body lotion in this fragrance. This is by far the most fruity in my opinion. It's sweet, it's fruity. Um, it has a little bit of that vanilla to it. It's just so good. It is so good. I feel like this one is also kind of a standout one because it is the most fruity even though a lot of the other ones do have a fruitiness to them or like a fruity note in their description. This one is like straight up a fruity fragrance and it is so delicious, so good. It kind of reminds me of like the a pink drink from Starbucks, like a creamy but also like strawberry-ish kind of 
situation, even though strawberry is not a note on here, it kind of smells like a pink drink tastes. And again, in the best way possible. So this one is so good. I love it. I think uh, you can't really go wrong with this one either. And finally, we have my favorite, which this is their newest one other than the one that's coming out next month. And I love this fragrance. This is their After Hours fragrance. I was really excited when I saw them teasing this on Instagram a few months ago. And then um, I saw, I got a PR package from them and this was inside and oh, I was so excited. I, I don't know if this is limited edition. I'm fairly certain it is. I hope that it's still available because if you have not smelled this, you need to go smell this. It is so good. The notes are Midnight Jasmine and Amber Woods. Again, I don't really feel like I'm a big jasmine person, not a big floral person in general, but this is amazing. It is so freaking good. I love it. Mm, it's like, it has black currant in it, I think. Like it has a fruitiness to it, but a unique that like black currant or red currant, I always forget which one it is, um, fruitiness to it, but it also is very, you know, it has a little bit of like muskiness to it. It smells a little bit more mature than some of these other ones, a little bit more like dark and like, I don't know, just like if you're going out like on the town in New York City, you're going out to a fancy dinner in a little black dress or something. I don't know, that's, that's the vibe that I get from uh, this fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> that I've never done that in my life, but you know, that's just if I'm if I had to pick a scenario that smelled like this or that I would wear this to, that would be that situation. So, anyway, this is amazing. Um, but again, my top five this one and this one and this one and the OG ah, and what in Rio, these are all amazing and it was very hard for me to choose in order here some days chirosa 62 is my favorite some days after hours is some days literally all of these are my favorite and they are so good and again i don't think you can really go wrong with any of them so um i hope you enjoyed <laughs> this ranking video it was really fun to film it was fun to revisit my previous video and see kind of what, what my opinions were back in February. It's been almost a year at this point. Um, so let me know what your favorite scents are from Sol de Janeiro. What are your least favorite, your favorite? Are you excited for this new fragrance to come out? I know that I am. I am so freaking excited. It sounds amazing and I think that I'm gonna love it. So that was today's vlogmas video i know it was not a vlog but for my vlogmas we just consider any video posted part of vlogmas so i post a video every single day in december not necessarily a vlog every single day but my first three days of vlogmas were vlogs so if you want to catch up on vlogmas and watch some vlog content my playlist is linked down below for this year's Vlogmas. And how many times can I say Vlogmas? <laughs> um, so we have a PR haul coming soon. That'll probably be tomorrow's Vlogmas video. I'm so excited. And then we have a makeup organization video. Like I said, we have some declutters. We have some more vlogs. We have some wedding content. I am having a wedding this month. My husband and I are already married. We got legally married in February, but we're having our wedding in December during Vlogmas. So we have some wedding prep content that we need to do. Lots of things, lots and lots of things. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much when you guys like and comment on my videos. And um, yeah, if you made it all the way to the end, you should comment a blue heart. A blue heart and if you don't have a blue heart like if you're on a computer or something then just type out the word blue heart <laughs> and then we'll all know who the true the true ones are <laughs> all right so anyway that's it <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so so much um i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas video bye